okay, okay. Shout out to all you brothers living that passport life. But I want to talk about something today a little bit serious. Something I want some of you new brothers to watch out for in the DRs. It can happen anywhere, but I've been seeing this happen most of the time in Santo Domingo. I got some homies in the group. I got people that uh, email me on my Gmail and they're telling me the same thing. So just one thing I want you guys to avoid, especially in Zona Colonial in these areas, um, it's a little scam that some people will run on you and they'll get you in some trouble or they'll get you out of some money. So look, here's the thing. If you're in Zono Colonial and a guy approaches you and these dudes study you, man, these guys can uh, smell fresh meat. They can tell most time if you knew and they're gonna come up to you, man. And a lot of these guys speak perfect English. He's gonna come up to you. He's gonna say, he's gonna hit you with that brother stuff. He's gonna look at you first see if you're Dominican. When he see that you're a foreigner, that's when he's gonna start laying on that that brother, 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 brother. He's gonna say, brother, man, look, you need some girls. I got some girls for you. And let me show you how the scam works. And even though you're saying no, I'm okay, nah, he's gonna grab you. Oh man, come on, man, come over here and see me. I got Colombians, I got this, I got that. Come on, brother. I got you, man. I, I have everything you're looking for. Come on, come on. And he pressures you to come there or he's gonna get your number and he's gonna try to come to your room. And here's where the scam takes place, man. They're gonna link you up with some chicks. One, two, whatever. And what's gonna happen to you, you're gonna, um, you're gonna end up meeting the chick and whatnot. And if you're not, whether you're feeling her or not feeling, you're gonna have to pay her. Cause this is what this is what they're gonna do you. She's gonna say, "Hey, I'm underage, and we're gonna call the police. So you're gonna have to give me three, four hundred dollars, two hundred, whatever, for me to leave. Then he's gonna want money from you, and if not, they're gonna stay there till you pay them. They're gonna. Some of them have these fake police officers that they use. Some of them might be real cops, but they're gonna say we're gonna call the cops, and you're gonna be in a lot of trouble." So most of the time, you are just going to pay them to leave. This has happened to many people. Almost happened to me before, but uh, thank God I knew a little Spanish. I tell them, look, man, I can get my own women, dude. And I and I talked to him in Spanish, and he left me alone. He shook my hand and walked off. But too many people are falling for this trap, man. You have to be safe. Stay away from that kind of stuff, that kind of energy, man. Like, because it, it can get you out of some money. You can... I mean, you can lose your life playing like that. Just when somebody walk up to you and they say, hey, man, I got some girl. No, I'm good, man. I got my own girls. Or you tell them you're married. You know, you know, you know, tengo esposa. That's what you tell them. Tengo esposa. You're going to laugh and he'll, and he'll walk off. They'll leave you alone. But I'm telling you, don't get caught up in this stuff because it's happening to too many men, you know, and. I don't talk enough about some of the things you can fall into. I'm gonna definitely add more of these little short videos like this, man, because this just happened to a guy I was talking to the other day and they came to his room and that's how I went and he paid them to leave. And you know, and I understand you're in another country and somebody's coming in there saying, hey, this, 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 this. You, man, you gotta be careful, man. You gotta realize, man, you're coming in a place you have a lot of money you know even if you don't have a good job in the states you're doing the dr you're doing these foreign countries man you're doing really well you know i think and being an american sometimes we we don't we take for granted all the stuff we have look at that southern border look at all the people trying to pour into the states you have it good but you know america preaches victimhood mentality so you don't you look at the things you don't have and you don't realize the good things that you do have. So brother, be safe. Tap in with other brothers. That's why I started that, that group. So let's say you're in Santo Domingo, somebody else there, you can tap in. That was the whole purpose for making that group that we can tap in with each other and meet up. Look, man, I'm over here. How you moving? What kind of driver you know? What's up? This and that. And you will eventually meet solid chicks if you haven't lined up any. 
you will meet people you can trust and people you can get down with right so man i just wanted to put this quick video out there man y'all brothers be safe i have much appreciation for you guys man love you guys man let's keep it popping man look do got a video coming out by pay for play man it's gonna be a good video but i, I keep getting ask this question what i think about it and i told y'all i ain't will smith but i'm gonna break it down on why so i'm out